following uh, the, the, of course, uh, in in all of the the media, uh, following this this uh, this attack of the current president on his his own attorney general, uh, in in stating things like, uh, of course, uh, this was the, the the first sitting senator that uh, that came out uh, uh, in favor of uh, Donald Trump's uh, uh, candidacy, and. Was, was very loyal and and actually gave up a U.S. Senate seat, gave up a U.S. Senate seat to become Attorney General, put his entire life's work reputation on the line, and and, and once again made a spectacle out of himself, holding up uh, his, his his right hand and and and. and uh, Taking an oath to tell the, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and uh, the congressional committee, and, and and you know, this this spectacle that he made of himself was an embarrassment. It was an embarrassment to our our, our current president, and and it seems as though all the uh, current president is is attempting to do is to uh, straighten out the Department of Justice. There's been a massive failure in the Department of Justice long, long before uh, President Trump was inaugurated. A failure. And and throughout the uh, 2015 uh, and and 2016, uh, uh, the lead up in 2015 and 2016 of the presidential campaign and election, uh, the the particular uh, email controversy uh, and and, and, and possible perjury uh, by uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, candidate uh, for the Democrats, hung over her head hung over her head while uh, on, on the stump Donald Trump was saying, you know, lock her up, lock her up. Crooked Hillary still saying that. Okay. Well, that's a failure on the part of the Department of Justice and, and it, it culminated really the day that uh, her husband, former president, Bill Clinton, uh, met you know, at the, on the tarmac with the, the current Attorney General and seemingly <clears throat> seemingly the Attorney the, the Attorney General under the Obama administration of the Justice Department went to former FBI Director James Cooney and, and attempted to convince him some kind of way, uh, which is not a whole lot different than uh, the, our current president sitting down with, with James Cooney, and, and, and it's not a whole lot different than Senator Lindsey Graham uh, running to uh, former Director uh, James Cooney of the FBI to find out what he had. Uh, not much was said about that, independent of the Senate uh, Intelligence Committee. Uh, a lot was said about in the House when when one of the, uh, the members of the committee uh, uh, did some clandestine things uh, at night and whatnot uh, to, to find out uh, what was there as far as, uh, uh, and, and, and he went to the White House and reported to our current president, Donald Trump. So he's got to straighten out, he's got to straighten out the Department of Justice. And what we have here, really, is a dysfunctional department from, from top to bottom. What we have here in the formation of the special counsel, Robert Mueller's staff, uh, is, is a, a quasi-justice department that's greater than the FBI. Right now, it's greater than the Attorney General. Right now, it's uh, the, the main job of, of Robert Mueller is the same as just before 9-11 and just after 9-11, to contain the damage, to contain the damage to national security. And Robert Mueller, as former FBI director at that time, is credited with bringing the FBI into the, the cyber age. And so what we have here is a, a, a kind of cyber security, national security, cyber security, uh, uh, quasi-justice department that uh, has more resources and, and is, 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 is functioning uh, really uh, uh, secretly. It has more resources than uh, the, the attorney general and, and thusly more resources than the president.
president. And that's all he's attempting to do, it seems to me, is straighten out the Justice Department. So uh, in, in concert, our current president has hired uh, uh, his own legal team, his own legal team. He doesn't even need Jeff Sessions anymore. He doesn't need, he's recused himself, and that's as good as re resigning. He, it's, he's impotent as far as following the president's orders because he's, 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 part, he's a target. He's a target of, of, of potential target of uh, Mueller staff. Uh, and, 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 and all the president is attempting to do is to revisit 2015-2016, uh, the presidential campaign, and, and get the Justice Department to, to move even-handedly, even-handedly in terms of investigating, uh, reopening, or, or determining what, what went, went wrong in the investigation of, of H. Clinton when the former FBI director, James Comey, came out and, and said, oh, wow, you know, she, she really made a lot of mistakes. Uh, she, she, you know, did a lot of wrong handling classified information. Maybe some of it was even deleted. Maybe some of it was withheld. And, and, and she took the over three hours to, to basically uh, tell the truth. Uh, and, and, you know, even-handed, even-handed approach. Uh, and, and our current president has brought up some things uh, that are rumored about uh, something with the Ukraine and, 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 and their influence, uh, you know, uh, in, their, in their battle with uh, President V. Putin of Russia uh, to try to influence the election for H. Clinton. Okay. And we know that uh, former President Bill Clinton and his wife, Hillary Clinton, have a global, a global charity, a global uh, operation, uh, which was also uh, uh, under, under, uh, under scored by her service as Secretary of State. And so, once again, this gets into uh, the influence of, 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 of foreign powers, the influence of the world on the election process in the United States of America. It's always been that way. It's always been that way. In, in, in uh, the freedoms of the world, democracy in the world, it's always been that way, that there's been influence, outside influence. Okay, so, you know, it, there's a redefinition of, well, what is the law? What is the law here? But what we have is a quasi-justice department headed by Special Counsel Robert Mueller, allied with the acting uh, Attorney General, Certainly allied with former director, FBI director James Comey, who was his assistant uh, when uh, Robert Mueller was the FBI director. And once again, uh, we want to remind you that uh, significant intel, significant uh, intel that was controlled by uh, Robert Mueller when he took over the FBI was withheld from the 9-11 Commission that may have uh, implicated uh, George W. Bush and uh, uh, the, the president at that time and his brother who was the governor of Florida in terms of the movement of the pilots through the state of Florida and the, and the uh, airfields that they trained at, their movements through and support uh, groups in, in, in Tampa. Uh, and, and this was withheld from the 9-11 Commission. And to this day, former uh, Florida U.S. Senator Bob Graham says it's hard for him to believe they didn't get help domestically. It's hard for him to believe they didn't get help domestically, and there's been investigations uh, uh, connected with the, the uh, Bin Laden family being flown out when, when all air travel was, was banned right after the towers fell in New York City. And uh, however, uh, the president at that time, George W. Bush, uh, arranged for uh, for the Saudis, for for the Bin Laden family to fly out, things of that nature. So uh, this this failure in the Justice Department can be traced all the way back to the Patriot Act and the aftermath of 9/11. When uh, former FBI Director Robert Mueller had to, uh, on the basis of national security, control uh, the intel that was
was going to the 9-11 Commission and also bring the FBI into the cyber world. And uh, he got a lot of credit for that. All right. So his job is to control this uh, particular uh, situation where uh, there has been some influence, outside influence, in uh, the 2016 presidential uh, campaign and elections. In, uh, and, and actually, uh, behind closed doors, make his report uh, to uh, the, the, the various uh, Senate committees and, or, or House, whatever. And, and basically, his job is to exonerate, this is what we expect, to exonerate President Trump of collusion with Russia in the campaign and also justify former FBI Director James Cooney's particular uh, 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 interventions in uh, the course of the campaign of 2016. And by justifying uh, uh, James Cooney, he must revisit how he handled the H. Clinton email, uh, the hacking and, and all of this stuff. He's got to handle that as well, and he's got to make some sort of justification as to why Hillary Clinton was not indicted, uh, as to why uh, they waited so long to uh, either, either absolve her or indict her, which cost her and her campaign, arguably, and uh, everybody knows that stuff. Now, what we have is a quasi-justice department versus a team of lawyers directly in the White House. Uh, this is Derek Chamblay. Beautiful day here so far in Chamblay, Atlanta. Winding up on 3.30 in the afternoon. So we're picking up one article from the New York Times. Uh, it's uh, from their op-ed opinion pages. The screaming headline, A Trump Tower of Absolute Folly. All right. And uh, wanted to make this point, too. Our current president is saying about Jeff Sessions, the attorney general, time will tell. Time will tell. Uh, you know, it's, it, maybe he's referring to Time magazine. Maybe he's referring to the New York Times. Will tell. They'll tell. Anyway, uh uh, screaming headlines, uh, and, and this is an opinion uh, written by Ross. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this this correctly. Uh, do that. D O U T H A T. Do do that. Anyway, um, so uh, there's a picture of President Trump, uh, kind of a nighttime picture. Probably uh, he's coming off uh, Air Force One. And uh, he's holding his hand up, but not looking at uh, probably a reporter or something. And, and it's it's like uh, Schwarzenegger, you know, talk to the hand. <laughs> kind of funny. But anyway, uh, it starts out this way. Donald Trump's campaign against his attorney general, Jeff Sessions, in which he is seemingly attempting to insult and humiliate and tweet shame Sessions into resignation is an insanely stupid exercise. It is a multi-tower of political idiocy, a sublime monument to the moronic, a gaudy, gleaming, and here's a word, Osmanian, Osmandian folly, whatever that is, that leaves many of the president's prior efforts in its shape. Okay, then let us walk through the levels of stupidity one by one. Okay, but uh, at this point, this, this article's really, really lost me.